plan track work out there on the 4780 FN and R line. So we'll see service changes till 5 a.m. If you're getting on the roads, they're in good shape, but you do have some road work out there on the Van Wyck Expressway northbound from Rockaway Boulevard to Linden Boulevard. You can see it there. And we're the along. It's pretty quiet out there. Three down in the roadway that closes Route 202 in both directions. Between down, you have a couple of lanes blocked from Rockaway Boulevard up to Linden Boulevard. Very, very minor delays here, and we'll take a live look outside. If you're headed to the Midtown Tunnel, it's very quiet out there on the LIE right now. You're in for a nice ride. And then over on the Cross Bronx Expressway, uh, similar picture on Lincoln Tunnel. Uh, no issues on the Helix there. The center tube is closed, but that's not affecting traffic at the moment. Alternate side of the King Rules, meter rules, they're both in effect. Darlene, back to you. 19 right now happening today at the moment alternate side of the street parking rules meter rules they're both in effect darlene back to you so we're 19 right now happening today so we're 19 right now happening today carver despite this is i didn't realize this the statue <laughs> of liberty is struck by lightning about 600 times a year did See? you know that because she's a woman and she stands She's strong. Proud. Nothing That's how it is. Looks good for yes. 135. Okay. <laughs> 135. Yes. I love her. Looking yeah. fabulous. So it can people. strike twice, by wow. the way. Yes. That's amazing. That's pretty incredible, though, Maria, when you think about it. It was. She's standing tall all by herself right. mm -hmm. out there. Yeah. Just the whole target. Just right, right there. Yeah. She's like, bring it. Yeah, bring exactly. it. Um, we have no lightning at all, which is Super. great. A nice break. No clouds, really, either. You see uh, some of that hugging eastern Suffolk tonight, but more clouds begin to move in ahead of our next system. But we're still down in the 40s, 30s, north and west tomorrow morning. 30s. There you, hold on. That's That's it. Hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> all right now. All right. Yeah, no, we don't want that, okay. but you can keep it. Okay. <laughs> we don't want plan track we're out there either, to be honest. It's a headache for a lot of people, but it's out there on the forest that closed, but should reopen shortly. All right, thanks so much. It's 426. Police have shut down a dream. That was good. I know, and, it, and it's like the winds dried all the roadways yes. for the most part, the so most that's part. good. Yeah, well, now we're just dealing with a little bit of a chill and clear skies. Let's get into Westchester Avenue, so uh, watch out for that. Leave yourself some extra time. Stick with 95 instead. Then heading, or that's the Bruckner right there, heading over to the Van Wyck Expressway northbound. You have a couple of lanes blocked from Rockaway Boulevard to Linden Boulevard with construction. And then finally, uh, Maria was talking about how the winds dried the roads. Well, they also knocked over a tree. Uh, so Route 202 is shut down between Harder Road and Frederick Street because of that. Darlene, over to you. All right, thanks so much, Lauren. 430. If you are headed out right now, getting on the subways, there is planned track work on the 47 ADFN and R line. So delays in service changes for about another 20 minutes. Uh, major commuter rail lines, though, so far so good. Take a live look outside at the roads, which are also quiet this morning, bridge, but uh, no major delays. You're watching today in New York. Uh, not too much, which is great news for you. No major problems on the roads at this hour. Heading over to Route 202, uh, this is a problem. There's a tree down, so it's closed in both directions between Harder Road and Frederick Street, but you could take other local streets to get around it or just stick with 287. Then heading over uh, to the Turnpike northbound, the Eastern Spur is shut down uh, from the beginning, just north of Exit 16, and then the inbound side of the Holland Tunnel is still closed. And we'll take a live look outside. Here, heading over to the uh, Governor Mario and Cuomo Bridge, rather not bridge. Uh, things are moving nicely between Westchester and Rockland counties and then finally Route 3 in East Rutherford. Uh, also still very quiet out there. So like I said, no major delays. Alternate side of the street parking rules, meter rules, they're both in effect. Darlene. Alternate side of the street parking rules, meter rules, they're both in effect. Darlene. Okay. Huge. All right, well, a Halloween tradition returns to the plaza tomorrow. That's when we're going to see the team from the Today Show decked out in their Halloween costumes. So here's a behind-the-scenes look at the preparations. We've also been given a clue about what's in store. Mm. Are you ready for some costumes? Crazy hair and the completely unexpected. Uh, how tomorrow's Halloween on today. It's always a ball. So buckle up for a wild show on the plaza. There's going to be fun and surprises for all. So you're getting a look there, but you you know they're doing it very secretly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you guess what they have planned? Find out tomorrow when today celebrates Halloween mm. live on the plaza. There's some past years. We don't right. want to confuse people. Past years. So, I, but the choreographer that we were looking at that's yes. new. Uh, the choreography new is prep, new, but, right? but yeah. no hint I'm, as to I'm the costume. I'm trying to figure it out. I'm trying right? to figure it out from yeah. the choreography. I'm excited for another mm. Chanel dance. She can dance. She's good. Yeah. Yeah. She's good. So we know yes. they're going to give her that, I hope. Right. I love it. Okay. 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 We're going to have to do a little stalking in the hallway. Mm. Too, see here. <laughs> Let's do it. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, we have some nice quiet conditions today. Tomorrow on the plaza should be good shape, too. Uh, some clouds over Nassau County and hanging out over Long Island. 
little by little overnight tonight and temperatures dropping into the 40s. All right, thank you, Maria. What's happening, Lauren? Not too much. Uh, the roads, there's some delays out there right now on 95 if you're headed south. So you're in for a nice ride on mass transit. Okay. Thanks so much. It's 458 still to come. Details on President Biden's trip overseas. Plus this. The Cross Westchester Expressway and delays continue to build. They're now back into Connecticut. Uh, then heading over to New Jersey in the Morris area, Route 202 closed in both directions between Harder Road and Frederick Street. This is all because of a down tree. So you can already see some delays out there. Use other local streets or 287 to get around it. Michael, over to you. Okay, Warren, thank you very much. Mass Transit is in great shape for you this morning. Uh, major commuter rail lines on or close to schedule as well as subways. And the same goes for the ferries. In fact, C Street uh, reinstating its full normal weekday service as of today uh, and like I said uh, no delays or service changes otherwise. All right, we are coming up on 518. Lauren, what's going on out there? Not too much, uh, which is great news for the commute, but uh, service changes did just come in on the D train. So northbound D trains, they are running on the A line from West 4th Street to 59th Street, Columbus Circle. Uh, that's the only issue on the rails right now. I will let you know uh, what happens there, but for now, you'll need to follow that. Heading over to 95 southbound, you have delays building construction after the Cross Westchester Expressway, an earlier accident as well. So two lanes are blocked here. And then heading over to Route 202 New Jersey uh, tree down over there closes all lanes in both directions out between Harder Road and Frederick Street. So use other local streets, take 287 through the area instead. You're in for a nice ride. And then you have some construction out there on the Gowanus. So this is outbound just after uh, Hamilton Avenue. They're heading towards the Verrazano Bridge. You can see a few lanes blocked. It's a little slow going getting into that, uh, but inbound still moving along nicely. And the inbound Holland Tunnel reopened on time. So everything looks good there. Alternate side of the street parking rules, meter rules, they're both in effect. Take it. Yeah. Standing tall okay and whoever her botox doctor is i right. want to know she's 135 <laughs> years old in today's cnbc money report they're going to go to the nonprofit group rethink food warren i mean this is a fantastic development um jj johnson is such a great guy and such a great chef he's so talented so called field trip and So yeah. if you can get over and try that, and if you can, I know that's for today. He has a restaurant called Field Trip in Harlem, okay. and there's also oh. one here at Rock Center. So, oh, yes, we very need to into take a health and sustainability. He's a great guy. Okay. So, and I love what awesome. they're doing, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. when they're giving back. And this afternoon in the upper 50s, and we stay dry overnight. Okay, that sounds good to yeah. me. Thank you. And now we're going to ask one about traffic. <laughs> <laughs> Today's like a walk in the park compared to every other commute we've had this right. week. There's some construction causing some delays in New Jersey. So Route 46 eastbound from West 4th Street up to Columbus Circle. For now, I'll let you know when things get back on track. Okay. All right, Lauren, thanks so much. 527 right now. Still ahead, we have details on the vaccine mandate battle you're watching today in New York. So shocking, you can't escape. The big reveal. Halloween begins Friday, only on today. Well, good morning, everybody. It is 5.30 a.m. on this Thursday. It's October 28th. Good morning. I'm Michael Gargiulo. I'm Darlene Rodriguez. Lauren Scala is here looking at that ride to work for you. And Storm Team 4 is Marie LaRosa is here. I'm just glad today's better than yesterday. So oh. I will complain about nothing for at least 35 minutes. Oh, <laughs> let me write this yes, down. I'm just saying. How about, the, it's 5:30. How about the next 35 5:30. seconds? Because okay. it's a little chilly. And it's a little chilly. That's back. Uh, we'll take a look at the 24 hours. Better than they have been uh, earlier this week, that's for sure. But you do have an issue out there on 95. So southbound heading into the Cross Westchester Expressway. There was an accident. There's still some road work. So delays go back into Connecticut right now. Definitely a spot you might want to avoid. Then heading over to Route 46. Eastbound, you have road work heading into Route 3, slowing things down, and that tree is still down on Route 202. So all lanes remain closed in both directions between Harder Road and Frederick Street. Michael, over to you. Okay, well, delays on southbound F and G trains heading over to the major commuter rail lines. They're all on or close to schedule. Take a live look outside at the LIE. Rail lines, they're all on or close to schedule. Take a live look outside at the LIE. There's a couple of things going on. Uh, you can see the maps getting a little more colorful out there. There's a few incidents, but really compared to the past few morning commutes we've had, this one's a breeze. Uh, we'll take a live look outside at the LIE. There is a crash out there westbound on the outer roadway by Queens Boulevard, so that's contributing to some delays on the main roadway. Obviously, a little bit of rubbernecking, so uh, that's what's causing that. Then heading over to 95 southbound, can 5 uh, out by Delavan Avenue, and then on 684 southbound north of the 
Hutch and 287. There are reports of a hazard on the road, so it might be a disabled vehicle, perhaps roadkill. Uh, nonetheless, it's causing a delay, so leave yourself extra time there. Heading over to the FDR Drive, you have a crash southbound approaching 71st Street. Delays go back into the 90s, and then heading over to New Jersey Route 202, still closed with a down tree between Harder Road and Frederick Street. Uh, outside side is in effect. Michael, over to you. Okay, Warren, thank you very much. At 5.50 now. Uh, out, outside side is in effect. Michael, over to you. Okay, Warren, thank you very much. At 5.50 now. Warren, thank you very much. Well, bet they're coming. <laughs> Don't they? Yeah. Can I go with you? Like, no. Before. Parts of Long Island, but otherwise, really, the trend is to see clearing and cool conditions. We've got 50 in the city, 30s and 40s north and west. So as you get the kids ready for school, you got to get the jackets and the sweatshirts on them. It is a little bit chilly, but not as gusty for the afternoon. And plenty of sunshine will stay in the 50s and will stay dry overnight too. So and stay dry overnight too. So any activities mm. after school outside okay. looks good. Okay, that's good. Yeah. What's happening? Uh, we still have a service change on the D train. So northbound D trains are running on the A line from West Forest Street to 59th Street, Columbus Circle. They're <laughs> now clinging tenuously <laughs> to the upper 40s. Yeah. <laughs> with, with all of our energy. Oh, yikes. Uh, it's going to be a rough morning for you then. But yeah, it's a, little, <laughs> no. a little bit of a chill, but uh, we'll take it after yesterday's mess, I guess. There's the swirl well off the coast. So we're still under the influence. to yesterday and the day before yeah. pretty nicely, but there are a couple of issues on the roads. Heading over to the Garden State Parkway, Southbound, you have an accident out by exit 135, just a little bit past the Clark exit. So delays are building pretty quickly out there. Then heading over to 680 for southbound, there's some incident. I'm still trying to find out what uh, just north of 287, but I can tell you it is causing a delay. There's some incident. I'm still trying to find out what uh, just north of 287, but I can tell you it is causing a delay. <laughs> To the Garden State Parkway, there is a crash southbound after exit 135 that's really starting to back things up. So uh, northbound, you have a little bit of a rubbernecking delay as well, but southbound is really uh, where it's slowing down. Now, on 684 southbound, they're saying it's road work approaching 287. Uh, leave yourself extra time. Then, time. then over on the FDR Drive, you have two accidents. One southbound heading into 71st Street, one northbound now heading into 116th Street. So maybe stick with the west side instead. Over on the Southern State Parkway westbound, there's an accident accident by Central Ave. So just before you get to the Cross Island, delays are almost back to the Meadowbrook Parkway. And heading out to Hampton Bays, eastbound on Sunrise Highway, you have a crash. 14 and 16, you have to be home by 11. Now, we just love looking at all the costumes. So here. cute. <laughs> there are exceptions, and they do include children who are accompanied by a parent. Yonkers Mayor Mike Spano says the curfew is meant to provide a safe and enjoyable holiday 
for everyone. Just love, love seeing the little costumes. So, so yeah. cute. I love that Halloween thing. I miss my kids <laughs> oh, like that. Mm, sorry. He likes to make me upset. <laughs> so it's not happen anymore because they're grown. I know. You also get trick-or-treaters. I yeah. know. I get That's right. They're cute. <laughs>